Hey, orange one here. So uh, we're starting off with another battle. We seem to just not be able to get out of this area. We just keep on seeing to get logged like down in battle against the Kuzates in this area. Um, I do feel pretty good though because over the last episode or two, um, slash in between them, uh, we've really sieged down a lot of the walls on these castles. So. The good fit news is that they won't be able to hold them very easily. The bad news is that it's also hard for us to hold them. And so we've had a lot of back and forth. Um, I'm going to just keep on doing it though. Like trying to hold on to these castles and blitzing around there. It's it's proven to be an effective strategy so far. So I'm pretty happy with it. And we'll just see kind of like, you know, how many shots off we can get on these horse archers. Yeah, there's quite a few of them already. Yeah, that guy's looking at me. Yeah, you're like a Fian, I'm pretty sure that's that dude that was looking at me. Nope, that was way off. Jeez, that was bad. Oh, that was that was good though. Come on. Ah, oh, okay, that's a lot of red. That is concerning. That is actually like a lot, a lot of red. Why is there so much red? Oh, that that dude I actually almost didn't see. I saw him kind of last minute there. Ah, oh. Come on. Uh, oh, there's a whole group of them. I thought you guys were my own brays. They were, they were here. There we go. No, you're each other's own brays. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Um, let's see. There. That's that's what I needed. Okay, I think we're starting to get more more kills compared to deaths. That was a pretty brutal little spell there, but yeah. Okay. We are officially out of arrows. That means that I'm going to have to rely on scavenging them off of other people. Uh, this dude, if I could get him down, I could get arrows off of him, but it's going to be tricky. Who else could I maybe get arrows off of? You. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh. I think I need to get in there. Yeah. There's they they just have so many horse archers is the issue, I think. Oh man. There's so many of them. Yeah, there's I think we're just kinda getting overwhelmed by the sheer number of horse archers right now. There we go. So I think I can disrupt these archers. Oh man, someone there got a really well timed shot on me. I almost actually Got one of them. There we go. Oh, I'm I am wreaking havoc on these dudes. Come on. Yeah, we're actually we're gonna be hurting after this battle. I thought that we would do better than this because we had a significant number advantage, but hopefully a lot of people are just wounded. Okay, yeah, we've we've won. I mean, we kind of knew that we were gonna win. I just did not anticipate that many losses earlier. Yeah, dude, you're kind of outnumbered right now. Yeah, I think that this is all our guys, right? Yeah, these are all like yellow shields, so I think we're good. I mean, yeah, we won. I think, you know, as much as I would like to take these guys prisoner, they seem to just always immediately escape. So I'm just going to let them go. And I know it's going to make our war harder against them, but like I said, it's it's just not really even worth me trying to hold on to them. Um, how many prisoners do I have right now? Yeah, I think that that's good. And let's upgrade people. Well, we got 
the upside to us losing so many people is that we got a lot of experience there. Right? But I think that we might want to kind of slow our roll a little bit. Maybe just try and hold some of these castles, because I think... Now, I could be wrong, but I think that they might be getting, like, exhausted from the war, because there's been a lot of casualties inflicted. Definitely always going with the horse archers whenever possible. You know how much I love me and my horse archers. Oh, I actually do have a fair amount of prisoners already. Huh. Okay. Um, well, we got 200-something... Almost 300. I'm going to see if we can go to this castle up here. And see if we can we can uh, besiege it. Oh yeah, they've got so few people. I'm just going to attack it with the uh, default thing. We'll get the ram. Like We'll work on building that, but I mean, we don't need a ram. Like, the numbers there. We're, we'll just go for it as soon as we have a siege camp. Oh wow, and actually we even got even more people joining up with us. Cool. Completely unnecessary. Uh, oh, Talus just got taken prisoner. So that was the dude that was around here somewhere. So that means that there is a army around here somewhere that was big enough to at least take him out. I think he was pretty weak and he actually had a lot of... Um, oh, look, there's people escaping from captivity there. I think he uh, had so many prisoners he was just like crawling around the map, you know? So here's my goal. Take out all the defenders before our troops even uh, get in the walls. That's that's the goal for today. Uh, uh, there's a number of them that can kind of see me. Though I think we were kind of safe here. Oh, that dude kind of was looking at me. There. Two down. Um... Oh, that dude got away from me. That one didn't, though. Yep, yeah, I think we're not going to get all of them, but <laughs> we've already made a good chunk of uh, progress on there. I want to get in on the walls, guys. Let me in. I know that we'll be... we'll overrun the 30 of them. There's probably only 20 of them now, pretty quickly. There's already some people of mine in the courtyard there. I want to get in here though, this is the fun, where the fun fighting happens. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 no! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I can't really do anything about that, I don't think. Can I open this from the inside? No. That's kind of dumb. Like, F doesn't open that. Okay, well, we've pretty much taken this place, so... I like how you can kick the, the gate like that. It doesn't do any damage to it. <laughs> okay, someone please kill the last person soon. I think that that's good now. No? Hello. I can see you all. There we go. Yeah, we didn't... And we lost 10 people. That was a little bit more than I was expecting. I'll take those prisoners. If the game will let me. Oh sweet, we got some recruits too. Yeah, I know we're over a prisoner limit. I will dump some of the prisoners in the castle though, so we'll be we'll be fine. Um let's go to Gauss. And then entry. Go to the dungeon, donate prisoners. I don't know. I think I'll hold on to the lords myself, but we'll we'll drop off maybe some of our crummier prisoners. What do you like? So maybe. I definitely want the Viglia though. Um Yeah. We'll do something like that. That looks good to me. I also think we should probably just kind of wait and see what is around. See if anybody comes for us. Um, it doesn't look like anybody is. I have half a mind to go back over to Menville, Melian right there. Um, I think, yeah, what we really need to do is just kind of recover a little bit. 
slash um, attack other lords and get food because yeah we eat a lot of food now that we've got an army of like 500 almost um i think we should go back to fight Kaon. has someone it looks like tice is trying to get it um well, it looks like you're you're gonna be the one that gets it in the end I, yeah it's a shame that i'm gonna be making you mad We'll do a hundred so that we don't end up making you super mad. Yeah. Get some more charm points. Oh yeah, by the way, we, we got uh, leveled up with the charm, which gave us another bonus. So our towns are a little bit more loyal now. And I think also, yeah, with leadership, we just now we're able to discipline like the like bandits into real units, which is super cool. It's a really useful ability. Yeah, that, there's only 30 defenders in Gauss Castle. Um, Room of the Sari has been taken prisoner. Um, yeah, I feel like we should be defending this castle, but I also am just... I, I know that Tice is trying to attack this place. So maybe we'll get just a little bit closer to Phaikaeon. And if we need to, we can go back to Gauss. Like, both Gauss and Melian... Um, if the enemy takes them, we're pretty close, so we can come back to them as needed. Let's go in here. We'll get some recruits. Yeah, looks good to me. And then maybe we'll siege this place, and then the enemy might just come straight down to me to attack me here at Phaikaeon. I mean, that's kind of like what I would do if I was them. Um, someone's raiding Sangolina. I, I don't know where that is, so... Okay. We'll besiege this. Um, this one, I think I will actually try and get some trebuchets on. Well, I mean, we do outnumber them four to one. And we're going to lose people trying to take this place without um, getting the siege equipment first. So I think we'll, we'll siege this place down. We've got food for 100 days. And we got a good number of units with us. I think the Kuzate Mayan try and um, counter me here. Uh, Melian has been besieged. Well, they're probably gonna try it. They're probably gonna take it if I don't do anything. The question is, do I wanna take the city instead of get that backed up? And we're gonna be trying to take this place for a while is the thing. Uh, I hate I hate doing this, um, but I know that no one's gonna defend those castles, and I've I've lost a lot of people trying to defend them. And I would like to keep our advantage. Uh, Southern Empire defeated by Northern Empire. I don't care about any of that. Let's get some more of these prisoners recruited. I like that these guys are staying in my party. I saw some patch notes. Um, about them changing how that works. Hopefully we can get to Melian before they've completed their um, their equipment. How fast are you? 72. I mean, I feel like I should go after that 72 stack. But at the same time, if we can stop them from taking Melian Castle, then I think I want to do that. Um, yes, we can absolutely stop them from taking this castle. We got a number, like a straight up number advantage on them. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you guys, I, I'm glad that I fell back there. That was definitely the right call. Yeah, I just kind of want to hold. Oh, actually, are they at trying to take it actively right now? Oh, yeah, they're trying to run. Try and run. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be awesome. They've got uh, a good amount of experienced troops, more than what I was expecting. I also just need to keep an eye on this to make sure no one's attacking that other castle. I mean, if they are, there's not much I'm going to do about it right now, but, you know. In the future, we'll have to deal with it. Yeah, I think, you know, my strategy of holding on to these castles is a little bit different than what we have been doing. I have just been sieging whatever, whenever. 
and um, then they just follow and they siege down whatever I take. And I think what we need to do is just like defend these castles, you know. Um, okay, AI, let's see what you're gonna do. You're taking horse archers. They've got a lot more horse archers there, and we got a, a big group of cav that we could probably loop onto them. I think that's what it's trying to do. We'll just try and. Yeah. Do something like that. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll just harass. Oh, that's actually one of our units. There's a camel. And this, I just realized, is the enemies are all blue, and it's like the whole scene looks blue, and it reminded me of like uh, that scene in Mad Max. You know, the what's supposed to be the green place, and that's like totally all blue. Which is awesome, by the way. I just realized it's called the green place, but it's blue. How did I not realize that? That's just one of the simpler things in that movie. It kind of, it really does remind me of that. Like, especially with like the, this is like almost like a pursuit, you know? It's a chase. Ah. Uh. There we go. Uh, yeah, I kind of get those arrows. I'm just gonna dodge. Thank you. Oh, nice. Full quiver. That's perfect. Like, literally kind of been better. Okay. I, I can't believe how well that worked. That was actually pretty smooth. I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was a good shot. I gotta say that there's very few things in this life that I enjoy more than horse archery. I don't know if Najim, if you're still watching this, but I remember seeing that one video that you shared with me on the Discord of like your people, um, like doing horse archery. It was so cool. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, I would recommend you go onto the Discord. I've forgotten what, where it was on the Discord, but it was like, I think in the communication part or something. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so he must be out of arrows. So he wouldn't be trying to do that otherwise. Uh, yeah, oh. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I can't seem to land a hit. There we go. These guys just... I, I wanted to get those arrows. There's like a quiver that was like on the ground, but these guys just wouldn't leave me alone. Oh, by the way, I've turned up the... Um, it wasn't actually set to the unlimited bodies, but I've turned it up so that all the bodies that should stay on the map now. So yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that just look amazing? Yeah, that dude just got wrecked. Oh, come on. Oh, was that one of mine? I think that might have been one of mine, actually, that I just was trying to hit. Yeah, that is pretty cool seeing, actually, all the bodies like that. I had thought that I had it turned on, but I guess something in the settings got changed. There we go. Okay, that must be everyone. Nice. 63 leveled up. What, 14,000 plundered? Did you see that? Did you just see how much money we just plundered? I'm going to let um, you go. What do you think of me? I'm going to let you go. I'm also going to let you go. Yeah, we're gonna need to replenish our numbers quite a bit after that, that battle, so we'll take any twos and threes that this person has here. And then any... actually, you know what? How many prisoners do I have? Uh, we can take a few more. We'll do like that, I think. Look, I can straight up level that dude up now. Isn't that cool? Um, Nomad... 
bandit. I think we're going to do that. Wait, was the Bedouin upgrade to the Nomad Bandit? That's kind of... I mean, isn't that what a Bedouin is? I thought that's like what it means in, in Arabic or something. I could be wrong. But I thought it meant something very similar to that. Okay, we actually are over our limit. Um, we're never going to get these guys to join us. So. Cool. Yeah, no extraordinary loot there. Um, I think that we should probably go to the village and then try and drop off some troops here. Yeah, they these guys don't want to uh, give us any, any people. We haven't earned their trust yet. Though I will take all of their food, because you know what I think? I could be wrong, but the more food that I buy from these places, the less food that the enemy has to actually buy. And so we're essentially starving them the more we, um... Oh, there's someone actually raiding Sangolina right now. Oh, peace. Oh, look at that. Okay, oh, and also look at that. They got bulk, uh, bulk to hand. Okay, well, we've, uh... Really pushed into their territory. We got a number of castles here. Gauss Castle. Melian. And um, Balk to hand. This is probably going to get taken in the next war. But I think we're, we're definitely creeping up. The one thing that's making it our wars hard against these guys is the fact that we're so far away. Um, it's, it's pretty tricky to get all the way to them. Okay, so let's go to here. Uh, request entry. And I'm glad I didn't take those prisoners either. Oh, actually, now these guys are... They still are our prisoners. Um, can I just let them go now? If I like go down to like Olmen, oh, I could execute them. Um, no, I can't actually just like let them go. It's kind of weird. Um, tell you what, we'll keep him with us, and then we'll. We'll just kind of... Wait, Wolfskin has declared war on the Asari? What? Where is... What territory do the Wolfskins have? Aren't they just also like a minor faction? I didn't know that they could declare war on us. It's kind of also dumb. Seeing how we've just been like crushing it. Um, But we'll, we'll work with it, you know, we'll... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this army and just disband it. I'm just going to disband the whole thing. And I might see about... No, we'll, we'll let the bandits uh, do their thing around here. I was thinking about letting the bandits, um, or fighting the bandits, to build the relationship with the local lords. But the problem with that is that... Um, I want the economy around here to still kind of be hurting. I, I don't want the Kuzates to have a nice, stable, safe border zone. Oh, Olin's here. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll take you into the party. Look at that hair. <laughs> I love the hair in this game. It is ridiculous. Um, definitely going to take these guys. I'm tempted to play a game of tablet. Yeah, you know what, we're going to do it. It's been a while since we've done it. We'll do a, a quick game. I'm not going to like spend super long. Um, but we're definitely going to bet. I'll be defenders. Yeah, I'm going to not like... I'm going to try and rush it a little bit. We'll see how much we can rush it. It's definitely not for the money at this point. It's just kind of for fun. Yeah, it was easy. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. And then we can do like that. And then we'll do like that. Yeah, this is a, a game that if you are playing right, you really shouldn't lose a piece. 
but you also have to be kind of patient. Um, we'll just go back there. We'll see what uh, silly things the AI does next. Oh man. Hmm. I kind of want to. I don't know. There's not really too many good moves right now. But I think we could get out this way because they don't have a lot of pieces there. Oh, really? I was actually surprised by that. Okay. Um. If I take... Uh, I think that we've got all the pieces that we have are safe there. If I go there, does... Yeah, that takes that one away. And then I think we've actually... Yeah, if we take the king... No, not there. It, it almost was a good move, but it wasn't quite a good move. We'll go there. Okay, um, I think that we're safe going there, right? Oh, actually, they may, they're they about to lock the king in. Um, does that mean they win if they surround him on all four sides? I, I don't know, to be completely honest. I think that it might. Hmm. If we do that, I think that that... Oh, they actually won. They beat me. Huh. I I guess I am not as, as good at that game as I thought it was. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we just want to do some trading. We'll... I don't know if we still get experience for this, because it seems to me that it's saying that this, these items are... You'll get a lot of money for them, so go ahead and get rid of them, is what it's saying. But I'm um, previously that would mean that you would get uh, like trade experience. I don't know if that gave me trade experience or not. Um, we are definitely gonna get rid of all of our junk though. We've collected so much stuff, and there's probably some pretty cool stuff in there. But it's like tier five. It's like not really like the best of the best, you know. Uh, they don't actually have enough gold for all of it. Whatever. I really don't care. <laughs> That's how rich we are. We're, we're almost at a million. Like, it's pocket change at this point. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to what to say or do from, from this point on. I think we probably... We want to go back to, like, what is um, our territory. So let's go back to Poros. Because I bet the Vlandians, like, go to war with us any second now. Because that seems to be what happens is... As soon as we're at war with um, the Kuzate, we're at peace with the Vlandians and then vice versa. It just seems to be like bouncing around that way. Though the Sari seem to be coming out on top pretty much every single time. Oh man, this is such an easy hideout. There's only four of them. How can you? How can you not attack that? It's like literally one of the easiest hideouts ever. Yeah, it's like straight up just a duel. Sure. I'll, I'll fight him. Oh, come on. Yep. Super easy. Those bandit bosses are... Those fights are not difficult once you get good gear. It's really a testament of your gear more than skill. And see, what I got there wasn't even that good. Yeah, nearby notables. You can you can praise me. What? We have this castle? When did we get that castle? Like, we weren't even at war in that neighborhood, you know? Uh... Yeah, I think that also, I just want to double check that we've got all of the parties created that we could. Yeah, actually, no, we could create another party. Kalmar, why don't you have another party? And wait, hold on, I can have another party in addition to that. Um, 
Uh, and then you, actually, I have in my party, so I can just straight up give you units, so you start off not getting stomped by everything that looks your way. Yeah, we'll do something kind of like that. Maybe a few more. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, Kara, Kara, good. Yeah, so who is this Marshall decision? Vote for the Marshalls. Um, sure. It looks like no one is supporting otherwise, so I'm I'm down. Am I tier five? I think I'm at tier five. So it says that we're not actually at war with anyone, because I think the wolfskins, yeah, they don't have territory, so I don't know what's going on with this uh, supposed war. I just need to honestly um, get back to one of my my fiefs. Actually, what fiefs do I even have? I don't even know. Like to be completely honest, I don't I don't know what fiefs I even have. Um, wait, Garrison of Balktahan? I have that city? No way! I've got the city like deep in the enemy territory. Balktahan. Well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to defend it. Is the problem? Legata, I feel like is much more defendable. Um, as much as I would like to have, like, a Kuzate city, I think that we really want to go to Legata. I uh, will keep on making our way to Poros, mostly because we'll be able to get more recruits there. These other cities, just because that we're, like, the wrong culture, um, or faction, it makes it very, very tricky to actually find any soldiers yourself. Even if you're, like, neutral, which is kind of weird, you'd expect there to be more mercenaries. They'd be willing to join up with you. But that's the way it goes in this in this game so far. You know, I've gotten to the point where I don't even really worry about trade. Which is kind of funny. So is the Kuzates that made peace with us? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I mean, we did kind of stomp them pretty bad. I mean, it it seemed to me like it was kind of even back and forth for a while in the um the main thing but like i felt like wherever i was i was just crushing them like open field and in the um actual battles so i kind of felt like that was gonna happen for a while there honestly i keep on i'm like on edge just waiting for this uh this piece to be over let's go over there we'll get a few more sheep or not sheep um soldiers Maybe we could we could get some sheep here. I'm gonna just get the butter and the cheese though. Honestly, I I have stopped caring about the cost of all the food. I just pick it up when we can. Oh, there's that hideout that's right there. That is a possible good thing for us to clear out. It's kind of close to our our villages and whatnot. Okay, um, maybe we should talk to that dude just for the main quest line. I probably what we should be doing. I am just trying to boost my numbers right now in anticipation that we're gonna be at war any any minute, honestly. Oh, I just looked at the time and saw that we're quite a bit over half an hour. Um, I'm just gonna go over to this guy. Just oh, what? What is there? Okay. That was we lost sight of him. This guy is just one of the people that you need to do for the main the main quest line. Okay, um Yeah, I'm just gonna make my way back to Legata, maybe do a little trading on the way, level up that trade skill, and I'll see you guys may maybe when we're at the next war or we'll I uh, we'll see. <laughs> maybe when we get to one million, which is gonna be really soon actually. Uh thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.